Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Brie from With Live Brie and today I'm going to be doing some embellishments. I'm going to do the one and only crepe paper embellishments and they are like the little label ones that I made with my tropical um like I guess you can say series that I had going during the summertime. So I'm going to do the same thing. Um, it's the same concept. I have a tutorial which I will link or put a little card up here for you guys to click on if you're interested in that. So this is going to be a really quick tutorial but it's the exact same thing. So I have a piece of cardstock here and I think this one measures a little bit different. It depends on how long and how thick you want your piece to be but this one here measures three I believe I don't remember. Um, three and a quarter. Yeah, so three and a quarter by half an inch. And it's just a piece of white cardstock. And then I have this piece of crepe paper, which I have actually cut in half. So if you look at this piece here, this is actually half of that. And so I just, the way that I do that is I fold, I cut a length, and this length here is 11 inches. And I just fold it three times this let's see like I said I'll have a better video showing you um, and I'll have that up there um, but you're basically gonna fold it in half fold it in half a second time fold it in half a third time and then you're just going to cut that in half and that's how you get this piece super simple um, so I apologize for those of you that are probably confused but just check my description box and you guys will find the link to that video um, that has a better tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and plead this um, piece of crepe paper. What I'm going to do is just take my roller adhesive and put a line of adhesive on here. And then I'm going to take my crepe paper and I'm going to leave some hanging at the edge and you're going to pleat it. So it's kind of like, oh, I didn't get that end. Put more. Okay. So you can see here, sorry about the sunlight. So I'm gonna do this. You're gonna fold it over. Fold it like this. As you can see and crease it and I'm gonna continue doing that so let me just zoom in here for you so you guys can see it's really easy and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of videos out there where you can do some where it shows you how to plead ribbon um, so, you can definitely look that up. It's super easy. And I'm going to cut this, but I'm going to, again, leave some hanging. So, I'm going to flip it over. Okay, so that's how it looks. So I have um, 12, so I have a dozen of these. I'm gonna show you. Okay, so I'm going to be making six of these with you. I might have two separate videos, one showing you um, a tutorial making these labels with dimensional items. What I mean by that is like chipboard or um, like wood veneer pieces, pieces that aren't paper and so this one here I'm actually going to show you is using just paper punches and your dies so if you have dies or paper punches this um, it, this is very simple to do so I'm gonna go ahead and just do a decoration process now so
so here is the finished product. Super easy, I'm telling you. And so I pre-cut everything. I got them all set up because making these bows takes a while, um, as well as making these coffee cups. If you are interested in the dies I used, I will go ahead and link them down below. Um, this little ginger woman here, she's actually a little die cut I hand cut from a old paper pad, a very old paper pad. Um, oops. It is this Martha Stewart's one that I got back in 2012. That was when I first started getting into card making and stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's where she came from and I literally punched out a one and a half inch circle, this one and a half inch flower punch and just layered it and then used the Tim Holtz sticker, label sticker to put a little sentiment. And same with this, it's another die and some punches. And so you can definitely make these, you can definitely make these with whatever you have. Die cuts, stickers, anything, all you need is some crepe paper and some cute little embellishments. So there they are. Keep an eye out. I'm going to be making some, I can show you a little peek, with more intricate pieces, I guess you can say. So as you can see here, I have a wood veneer piece, a die, or a snowflake, and then this die cut word. And you obviously don't need to have the die cuts. You can use stickers, you can use the Tim Holtz ones, but I thought that the Tim Holtz ones are the most easiest for those that don't have dies or anything. And so that's why I included it in this one here. So keep an eye out for this one. I will have this one out as well. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day today. Stay positive. Don't let anybody bully you or just turn your amazing day into a bad one. So I hope you guys enjoy this process and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!